All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's scout report. And I'm here to give you a defensive scout report on cornerback Jason Verrett out of VCU. I think this is a great cornerback. I think he's going to be a good pick for any team in the National Football League. Now, he was an All-American back in his junior season where he registered 63 tackles, 16 pass breakups, and 6 interceptions. Now, this year, this past season, his numbers dwindled due to injuries. So that's a little bit of a concern for the scouts and teams in the NFL, but I still think he's an outstanding player. And even with his numbers dwindled, he still earned co-defensive player of the year of the Big 12 Conference, along with my man Jackson Jeffco out of Texas. My, me personally, I believe that Jeffco should have won it outright, but I kind of understand Verrett's efforts and why he did win at least the co-defensive player of the year, because he still shut down a lot of the top two receivers of the Big 12 Conference this past season, even still dealing with the injuries, which is a great thing. He shows that he He's a good, tough player, and he will be able to fight through the injuries and still perform in the next level, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to give you some of his strengths. He has great fluid hips and a good body control, and he is a ball hawker. Six interceptions as a junior. Now, he did have just two but um, this past season, but like I said, he had injuries this year. He's still a good ball hawking um, player, and he works well in short areas, meaning in short coverages, and I think he can see he has good a good speed burst and closing speed to get to the football, to even even at least pass or pass break up the football thrown, thrown in his direction. Now, a lot of people compare him to um, Richard Sherman of the Seattle Seahawks, especially because of his efforts this past season. He was a shutdown corner, and a lot of quarterbacks decided to not even look on his side of the field because of his presence, and he gives you that good Richard Sherman presence. Now, me in particular, I'm not going to be comparing him to Richard Sherman just yet. We will see what he does in the next upcoming seasons in the National Football League. Now, a couple other uh, traits about him that I do like is that he has um good mirror um skills meaning sticking with the um wide receivers he doesn't give uh, allow the receivers to give too much space and catching the football and he was a pretty much a shutdown corner he has quick feet and he has quick read and reaction skills he can understand the quarterback read and has good closing speed to get to the football and swap the ball away or if not get an interception he also is a good leader I think he has great leadership skills and he plays very aggressive to the book when the ball is in the air and that's why I do like about his kid he's definitely a great ball hog now, a couple of weaknesses that he has. Now, he does not have the elite weight at his um, at his position. 176 pounds at 5 foot 10. Now, me in particular, I'm 5 foot 8, 190. So, I'm, even though I'm shorter, I'm still a little bit bulkier than... Um, and then Verrett, I think he needs to bulk up a little bit. And because of his weight, his strength is a big question mark. He's going to be playing against some big receivers in the NFL. And he's going to have a hard time shedding blocks. He's going to have to bulk up and increase his strength, which is a major concern. Um, other than that... He's still a great player. He, he does have a, a good height, good a vertical lead. He does have the ability to swat the ball away, but that it, that idea of weight is a little bit of a problem to me. Also, one other um, problem that he has um, uh, as far as tackling, he did get registered a lot of tackles as a sophomore and junior, but... um. And even in his senior year, he only had 39 tackles, but his tackling technique is not too well. He sometimes goes high, and he needs to lower his pads. And like I said, because of that weight, dealing with big, bigger players, he's going to struggle in this league. He needs to increase that strength, but even do a better job in his technique and tackling. He needs to get lower to the ground and keeping his head up and using his shoulder. And I think he just needs to improve at that. He still can help out in the tackling and the run game, but he still needs to improve in his mechanics and tackling and get the tackling tackling is done right unless he will get hurt or get truck or get used by the truck stick to the um, whoever the oh, is carrying the ball the ball carrier so he does need to improve in that but I still think he's an outstanding player and I have him going in the late first round early second round of this year's draft I think he's an outstanding player now the next time I'm going to give you a scout report will be on Tuesday while I will head over to the offensive side I think I'm going to go to the offensive line to give you a guard I'm not going to tell you particular until Tuesday but then tomorrow I'm still going to go back to my top five finish things off with the offensive side with my top five centers. Thank you for watching today's blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.